Well, I'd like to talk to you people, not about religion, because I think that's the biggest thing that is going around in this world today. We're all trying to seek the religion. But myself, I don't have to seek that because it's already with me. And I respect it. I see people here with long hair. I see people here wearing glasses like me. And I see different type of people. People with mustache, people with ties, all different type of people we have here. You know, I had the opportunity to go to China. And I would like to have gone to China just to get away from all the different type of people here. With a different type of clothing we have and a different type of ties and clothes. You know, in China, they don't have that. They all wear the same type of clothes. They all feel the same way. They walk down the street. They're happy about their walk. They don't have to stop and say to that person, what happened yesterday? What are the things that are going to happen tomorrow? What do we have in line tomorrow? He doesn't do this. He knows <coughs> what has happened. He knows what's tomorrow. It's like I said, we're not going to talk about religion. Like my grandfather says, there's too many religion here today. But tonight, <clears throat> we are going to think of ourselves. Let us look at our hands. <coughs> our hands is our main thing to our body. If we lost our hands, we would be helpless. We couldn't do the things that we could do the way the Creator put us on this earth to save ourselves and to keep ourselves that way. And it's like our eyes, it's the same way. That's the two main important part of our body. Did we ever try to study this? No, we didn't. We never tried to study our hands to see how much power there is in our hands. What of great value can we use with our hands? Same way with our eyes. We can see with our eyes. We can read with our eyes. Like my grandfather says, the best part of the life 
is in darkness. <coughs> we can close our eyes like the woman asked the question. You close your eyes. The question that she asked, that's where it is. <coughs> but again, do we study our eyes? We don't. We don't use those eyes. Whether they're open or whether they're closed. We use this up here. <coughs> what we are learning today in the books. Like my grandfather says, Who wrote that book? Not the creator. Not the Indian. But who wrote it? We use our eyes by that book. By using that book, we judge. As we look at the book, what it tells us in that book, this is what we believe. We don't believe what we see with our eyes. We don't believe that. We believe what we're reading in a book. And also, with that, as you close your eyes, the darkness comes. Where the power comes into you. You see it. You call it a dream. That's your version of it. So what my grandfather is saying, it's a silly question when you ask some of these things. Because it's there. It's like I say, we don't use our hands. We don't use our eyes. We don't try to straighten out things, what we see. We can see the wrong. We can see the destruction. But we don't see the goodness. We talk about the wrongs. But we don't talk about what's good for us. So what we see, like I said in the beginning, we have people with long hair, I see that. We have people with glasses, I see that. We have people with beard, I see that. But when I see these things, what does it mean to me? I studied it. When I close my eyes, I study it. I see something that is going back the other way. Because before this, I did not see this. I didn't see no long hair, no beard, but the glasses were still there. 
or people with glasses. Now you think. You think to yourself, why are these very important? We all have this, no matter what nationality we are. No matter what religion we follow, we still have it. But the question is, are we using this to try and straighten ourselves out? There are a lot of books that have been written, all types of books. This is where our eyes go to. We learn from that book because we don't use our eyes to think up here. We let the words into our eyes and get up in here. We look at the book, it tells. It says in there, that an Indian is a savage. So you, when you go out of that room, where you looked at that book, you go out on the street, the first person you meet is an Indian. What comes in your eyes? The Indian. But do you say that he's an Indian? No. Because you came out of a place where you just read that that Indian is a savage. In your mind, this is where it sets. So the minute you see that man, you say to yourself, he's a savage. You see compiling religion together, you try to study it. Your eyes will deceive you. You don't know which way to follow. What are you going to follow? There are so many religion coming into this country. Not too long ago, I was in the Astrodome and I listened to Rahu Maharaji. He was supposed to have power. He was supposed to save the people. But yet, as I sit there in that great, big, huge place, the people were in there. I don't know what they were doing, what they were receiving, but I could see something that was not right. Because something behind me, on the outside, were the same type of people here. They also had mustache, same clothes we got here. They had a hand, they had eyes. Some of them wore glasses like I did. But yet something was happening. Something was happening. 
I could feel the danger. Like I say, we're trying to compile all the religion in one. Because of we've been educated, we learn from the books. We're going by the books, but we're not going by our eyes. So we have this on the inside and that on the outside. It's the same thing on the inside and on the outside. <coughs> the only difference is the people. not using their eyes again. I said to these people, why did you have to go to another country to get this little boy and come here? When you did this, <coughs> you hurt my feeling because I have the same thing as that little boy. But you see, I told him the same thing I'm telling you. You don't see. You learn from the book. It went past your eyes and into your mind. You had that one thing in your mind because of the book, I'm a savage. But I want you people to know, regardless of what you're learning, trying to learn, I'm still an Indian. I believe in my way of life. I see with my eyes. I use my hands as the power to heal and help other people. I respect what I can do with my hands. So let us think, let us throw the book away, let us start using our hands. My grandfather told you what you can do with them hands, <clears throat> what you can do with your eyes, he told you. So you think, wash your eyes, wash your hands, and start to work with those two things. And maybe the next time we meet, we won't have to talk about religion. We'll talk about our hands, what we can get. We'll talk about what we see, <clears throat> what we can do with what we see. We hope, I hope, that you will do this. And I hope you understand what I'm saying. He said, our way of life is your way of life. 
if we use this. Thank you.